What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at the Breakout Daily. Thank you guys for tuning in today, guys. We have 26 books that we just got back from CGC. This one's gonna be interesting for several reasons. You're gonna wanna stay tuned in. All right, guys, again, thank you for tuning in. I'm Anthony, this is The Breakout Daily. We do a ton of videos on comic books and collectibles. If you're new to the channel, make sure and hit subscribe. Check us out over on the WhatNot app at Breakout Daily on IG at BreakPeer.Daily. Guys, I've been sending a ton of books for quite a while now to CGC, so I am heavily familiar. If you guys haven't watched some of our unboxing videos, those are some of the books I have done tons of unboxings without videos. And I did that for a while, not thinking about it. This set of 26 books, and then I think I've got 25 or 26 more that are on their way to me. I'm gonna just say this, we're gonna show the books, of course. Wild, wild grades, guys. We are back into the, back into the kind of the weird, oop, we gotta grab some sticky notes here. We're, I, I feel like we're back into that weird, area that we were in not too long ago with CGC. And while to be crystal clear, I don't expect nine eights on all of my books. That was a comment a while ago on a different video. Not everything can be a nine eight. Fully aware, 120% aware that not everything's gonna be a nine eight. I don't send all of these books expecting nine eights. However, we're gonna go over some of the books I have, I believe, on the iPad here in front of me. If this thing does it, there we go. Um, some of the graders notes. Now, an interesting thing out of this box of 20. So we've got, I think, 20 books in this box, and then I think we got six with custom labels. Three, yeah, three out of the 20 have graders notes. We're gonna go over those, and we're gonna talk about these books as we always do. So let's dive into it right now. There is no order. We'll just start from the back. Start from the back of the box. There we go. This is Captain America. Let me grab this, kind of hide it from you guys, trying to get better at hiding the grade a little bit. This book, does this, okay, so this is one of the books with grader's notes, which means that it's below a certain level. So that's your hint. Now, looking at this book, if you look at this book flat, this is nice square edges. The back is nice and clean. And I know that I'm not like ultra zoomed in and all of that stuff. This is a very nice book. This would be a book that I would grade nine out of 10 times without even, without even questioning it. Okay, this is also the first full appearance of Winter Soldier. The Scarlet and Black movie posters included, or this, excuse me, the Scarlet and the Black movie poster cover homage, Captain America. 555. Super cool book. Plays very nicely with whether you're a Captain America Winter Soldier fan or if you're a Thunderbolts fan because of what it is. Now, let's see what we got on this beautiful copy. My friends, that's right, an 8.5. And I will tell you in all honesty, I would take this book many times over in an 8.5. The greater notes say light fingerprints on cover. And they are correct. I see a part of a fingerprint. So I have to, uh, I guess, inspect that better. Um, one of the things I do though, which, which is interesting because I've gotten tagged with this a couple of times. Anytime I'm handling these books raw, I wear gloves. So I'm not saying it's them. I'm just saying that's, that's kind of funny that that's, uh, that's the deal. But nonetheless, that's the deal. I may crack and clean that off. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. This next one is a big book. Unread. This will actually, this, or no, excuse me. This book may have been read. There's a different book in the next series that is unread. Invincible number one. You guys know it. Tyler Kirkham, Battle Damage. Limited to 500 copies. That black and white Omni-Man goodness. What did we get? 
on this guy. Again, another very, very clean, clean book. On that last book, it should have showed it a little bit better. There's like a barely a touch, barely a touch of a fingerprint on it, but it is what it is. So let's do this. This is a 9.8. And I also, one thing if you're getting these books, in which I also got to get better at, is inspect them. I have received tons of books from CGC. And right here on the line, there's like the starts of hairline cracks. In my last order, <coughs> I received from them. There was quite a few and it was highly noticeable. So, and you can catch them now. I think their new policy is you have to get them prepped and returned within five days. And you do that under the mechanical error. So you go to like you're doing a new submission, type in, you'll have an option for mechanical error then they'll send you a label and you ship it back. We'll do a whole video on that at a later date. Next one is another badass book, High Speculation. This one I did not think I was gonna get a 9.8 on. Not saying I did get a 9.8, but I didn't think I was going to get a 9.8. In fact, I would have been pleasantly surprised had I did get a 9.8. Trying to keep this app open. That is Gargoyles number one from 1995, the original newsstand edition. Nice newsy, the original Gargoyles. Let me look at the slab real quick, make sure there's no seamstress cracks. The bottom's not falling off. Now it looks pretty good, pretty good. Uh, okay, what did we get guys? Gargoyles one from 1995, beautiful book. The reason I didn't think this was gonna be a 9.8, um, and this is an embossed cover. I know you get, can't really see it from here. Uh, it did have the start of a tick up top and the start of another tick. So the start of two ticks, very, very light ticks. So what did we get on this guy? 9.6, it is a gorgeous copy on that. Super cool, based on the animated television series and it is embossed and a newsstand from 95. Super, super cool book. The next one. This one was another one I was not expecting to get a 9.8 on. I'll tell you that. I threw this in because I was rummaging through at the last minute while I was preparing the CGC order and thought, why not? Send it in, see what I get. That is from 1988. Silver Surfer Limited Series, Marvel and Epic. Again, a newsstand. Doesn't mean as much from 88. Uh, the very nice copy. Light rub, very light rub on the back. It did have what looks to be light, very light oxidation on, on that, but a very, very clean cover. No ticks on the cover. Nice and square. Let me see if there's... Let me see what this one... No, no, uh, no notes or anything on this guy, which indicates it's not a 9.8. Very high grade, though. 9.0. Um, I feel like a little tight on the 9.0. Um, again, if you were to be if you were to be here in person and you were to pick this up, this would be a minimum near mint, maybe near mint minus, which 9.0s are a near mint minus, but 9.0 is tight. I feel like that's very, very tight on that grade. A very nice comic as well. Next one in the in the bunch is a Scotty Young. I started sending in some Scotties. Why? Really, the better question is why not? This guy is big right now. This character is really big right now, and rightfully so. That is Kang the Conqueror, number one. And these I have not gone through. If you guys did not know that, I don't go through the slabs. I'll pop it open, do a quick run through to see kind of what's going on, but my inspections, my post-submission inspections have not been concluded. There it is, Scotty Young cover, King the Conqueror number one from 2021, standing on earth saying conquered on his flag. What did we get on this guy? That, my friends, is a cool ass 9.8 on that one. Let's keep it going. <coughs> This is, yeah, here we go. Here's another one. This one, again. Okay, so this one is from 1988. It is a direct edition. 
which is perfectly fine for an 88 issue. This is Web of Spider-Man 36, first appearance of Tombstone. Super cool character. If you watch the animated series, probably familiar with Tombstone like I am. Beautiful copy. Like very light, one tick that's very light spine stress. This has actually been just sitting in a box for a long time. Back is clean, back, black back. Um, I, I'm okay with the grade. It's got a little bit of wear on the bottom edges and the top edge. What did we get? My friends, a 9.4. I was hoping for a 9.6, but that's at least within the realm. I mean, realistically, when I send books in, I feel like for the most part, I have an inclination of where, like, like where in the scaling it should be for the most part. Now, I do get bamboozled or tricked on occasion. We do have some here in this box and in the box that you're gonna see in an upcoming video. Dark Tower, the drawing of three, number one from 2014, Scotty Young. <coughs> Again, one of my favorite Scotty Young covers. Super cool, tough back. It's got this marbling. I don't know if you guys were able to see that, this strange marbling. Scotty Young goodness. <coughs> What did we get on this one? That, my friends, is a 9.6. Um, not 100% sure. I mean, it, it's got like, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but it's a 9.6. Let's put this guy back in. The next one is a DC book. This book was crazy hot. Uh, because of one of the team members that created this book stated that there was a paper shortage and the book was shorted. This from 2022, Batman Beyond the White Knight, number one. <coughs> beautiful copy. All mo should, Actually, all of these books are beautiful books. Just checking real quick. I need to get better at checking for the, the seams. Beautiful copy. Sean Murphy, great book, did very well. A lot of variants to it. This is a bam, 9.8 on that guy as well. It's dope cover. I love, yeah, Red Hood. You got everybody on it. Beautiful book. Okay, let's keep it going. Here's another one. <clears throat> Captain America. It goes in the same run as the Winter Soldier. Captain America, 11. Be another beautiful book. Back is, oh, the back actually has light rub. That would be the reason. Okay, that makes more sense. See, again, I, I should go through these, but I like being surprised when I explain this stuff. 9.6 on this one. I believe this is the origin of Bucky. It doesn't say it, but I believe it is. Captain America, 560 in the run there. So I don't know why I put that back on, but a 9.6. Which is okie dokie. Uh, this next one. And again, I don't have notes on any of these, so I'm kind of free, free, free balling here on the, the, the numbers. Um, here is from 2005. Who did this? Okay, right there. This is another key, the death of Red Skull, and I think something else is tied to this. Uh, the back has very light wear, which is common, guys. So for books that have the black back, it is hard, super hard to get away from any kind of rubbing. Very nice copy, um, a very, like the, the impression of a tick. That's not even a real tick. What did we get on this guy? Nine, four on this guy. So again, you know, not, definitely not the worst grade, I guess, but I guess hoping for something a little bit better. Another Batman book. So you're going to see a theme in this box, the box that's coming and some of my boxes that are some of the books I'm getting ready to send. And that is integrating in more DC books, more Batman, more Green Lantern, more Suicide Squad, more of these characters outside of the Marvel Universe. I will still, I'm not stopping sending Marvel and, and Spider-Man and those books, believe me. You're going to see plenty of those, but you will see a noticeable difference. Batman 126, 
This is the What Not Tyler Kirkham Battle Damage variant. Super hot in NYCC. Um, yeah, super cool cover. Look at that thing. Let's see what we got on this guy. 9.8 on this beautiful book. I'm gonna ramp it up just a little bit with speed just so we can make sure and cover everything in a timely fashion. Grab the next one. Okay, the next one is from 1999. Actually, I had a couple of people, I posted a picture of this book. Had a couple of people ask about it. This is, a, this is just a weird book to find. This is the Wizard Mail Away exclusive. It is a wraparound cover. And yes, if you did not guess it, that is Blade on there. That is the Blade Wizard one half. Gorgeous book. Uh, yeah, gorgeous book. Gorgeous book, friends. Anyways, cool ass wraparound cover. I have been collecting a ton of these blades. What grade did we get on the blade one half? Mail away, bam, a nine six. I was hoping for a nine eight on that guy, but they did not grace me with the nine eight. Let's uh, let's see what else. Make sure I didn't skip any. Here is another one. This one, I I actually called this this grade when I after I pressed and cleaned this book. I was thinking. Worst case scenario, it could be, and that's the grade this got. Um, this book does have a couple of ticks and some spine stress. When I when I cleaned it, and the back is the back. I guess it could have cleaned a little bit more, but the back's pretty clean. Um, the spine stresses are not on the back, but when I cleaned it, as I was getting ready to press it, I was like, "Son of a bitch! I bet it's going to pull." pull one of one or two of the ticks through and it did and that's okay um this spawn number one newsstand edition we got a nine two i was hoping for a nine four but we got a nine two so we do still have some wild surprises in this box especially as the next few let me pull this one out the next few books get it starts to get a little wild um, this one is a hip hop cover. This is, I'm gonna show you here in a second, from 2016. This is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur One. First appearance of Moon Girl, Lolina Lafayette, hip hop variant, Vince Staples, Summertime 06 album cover. I love the cover on this book, I always have. Um, Moon Girl is out. This one also has some rub on the back. Also has some rub on the back. No ticks, no ticks, no indentations, a little bit of rub on the black cover. What did we get on Moon Girl Double Nester for 2016? That hip hop cover, we got a 9.8 on this guy. Now, again, I grade on average right now, depending on my travel plans and what's going on between 50 and 100 books a month. That's, that's kind of the standing average. And I can tell you there are subtle differences that are apparent on some books and that are not on others. There are things like we just showed where it's like, I don't know where some of the grades got, but we haven't gotten to anything, I would say, extreme yet, but we will. This book, um, I definitely had higher hopes for. I still do. This book is cleaner than any other one in its grade. And it should have been the next the next level up. It should have been either, well, I'll show you, let me show you the grade. The spawn number nine, this is, a, this is a, a newsstand. First appearance of Medieval Spawn and Angela. Angela poster inside by Jim Lee. Angela is a Neil Gaiman character. A lot of, lot of story with it. Beautiful, beautiful, sharp book. We got a nine, four on. Now, Sharp Corners, I did clean and press this book. It has like light, very, very subtle indentations, which happens especially with white books. The back is quite clean, maybe the start of a tick. This, I feel like, I guess it could go either way, nine, four, nine, six. I was hoping for a nine, eight, but we didn't get it on that one. Okay, this, oh shoot, where is, uh... Hold on, I skipped a book. 
Let me find it. I think I skipped it. Oh, yeah, I did. I did skip a book. Okay. This next one is one that was not a pleasant surprise. That should be an indicator of what shouldn't be the grade it is. This book is Marvel Premiere 28, Legion of Monsters, Morbius, Ghost Rider, Werewolf by Night, Appearance. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy of this book. I'm not sure when I sent it, it did not sit that way. So I'm not sure what happened. Hold on. Let me pull. I believe there is greater notes on this one. Yes, there is. Says, this is the greater notes on it before I reveal the score, the grade. Light creasing to the cover. Maybe the spine, there's like a very subtle spine spread. It says spine stretch to the cover, light creasing to the cover, and light foxing to the cover. There is no foxing on the cover of this book. There's no foxing, period. Like there's no, there's no foxing on this book. I, the light crease might be down on the spine and then light spine stress, I guess. We'll call it light spine stress. I still feel as though the grading on this very critical at a 7-0. And they're calling an off-white to white 7-0. I feel like that is very harsh for the condition of this book in a 7-0. This, this would be one of the nicest 7-0s I've seen of recent time. But it gets worse. So we've got this book and another. And then we'll pull out the custom labels. This one, I... My mind is blown. It still is. Let me pull up another indicator. There are greater notes. Um, let's see. This is from 1995. Azriel number one. Newsstand. The back has no ticks. Very, very subtle. Less than what's on the 9.8. As far as a tiny wear by the staple. The cover has no ticks that I that I can see sharp corners and I'm blown away by the grade on this the graders notes say light bends to cover light creasing to cover and light staining to cover now if they I don't know what they're talking about I have several other copies of this book and this blows my mind. So I am not sure what they're referring to, but let's get the grade on it. That is a six, five, which I still, I, <laughs> I just don't know what to say. Um, I really don't know what to say. I don't know if they, I, I just don't know what to say to this book. I don't know. I, I don't want to argue it. I'd actually, I would love to argue with them because I just don't know what to say. It's very strange to me. Let's keep going. Um, this book, I was happy with the grade. I was, I was hoping for a little bit more, but this is a suitable grade. I feel like for this book, X Men One Hundred. Very nice book. The back is Colgate White. No ticks on the back. It does have a couple of ticks on the front, but that is X Men One Hundred. Newsstand. And this is, and it's also funny because they didn't even say newsstand. I wonder why they don't say it on older books. And it's from 1976. Guys, we pulled a 9 0 on this book. So out of the non custom labels, the Batman Azrael, I am just, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. A 6.5. And this, I still feel like, is pretty harsh. E even with what they're saying, 8-5, maybe on its worst day. Will I crack and resubmit? I don't know that I will. The, the uh, Legion of Monsters is just going to go on my PC. The Azriel I may crack, um, just because. All right, let's dive into this. Let's dive into this. This one was okay. These are all custom labels. We got six of them. We're going to go pretty quick here, guys. 
Uh, the first one is Spider-Verse 1 from 2019. This is a Walmart variant. Custom label on it. Todd Nauk cover. Beautiful, gorgeous book. It, it really is. Gorgeous book. Got the Miles Morales there on the cover. And this is, bam, a 9-8 on that guy. Beautiful book right there. Let's do another one. All right, Invincible 100, the Chromium Edition. So this is a what they call a Chromium Wraparound. These books you have to just be super careful with. I'll show you real quick. Let me make sure. Okay, so it doesn't show the grades. Custom Invincible Label, Chromium Wraparound. Look at that thing. Those aren't, cre there's no creases on it. Near Mint book. No spine ticks, no creases, no nothing. This is lays about as flat as you can get. And there it is. What did we get? A 9.6 on that, which I'm a little dumbfounded. Again, we only got three books with Grader's Notes, guys. Three. And I went over those Grader's Notes with you. The next one is another one where I'm like, they they very easily could have just gave me that, gave me something a little extra on this one. Uh, we got Venom number one. This is the AMC edition. So this was handed out during the Venom movie release. Now, I collect these because A, most of these end up in the trash because people roll them up, shove them in their pockets, go and watch it, go watch the movie. This is from 2018. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. Scan cover. Look at the back on this book. So of course I got the Lethal Protector custom label. What did we get on this one, my friends? Bam, a 9.6. This is another book that's going to go on my PC. I do have the one for Blade. So I, I'm, I'm building out, uh, I guess I'm changing my PC up. All right, let's do this one. I get nailed on these books, and it's so crazy to me. Again, I don't, I didn't get any graders notes on any of these books, just so you know. Um, this book has no ticks, nice square bound, Super clean book. Spider-Man gold. Good old gold foil. Or not foil. There's no foil. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. Gold edition. Todd McFarlane goodness. What did we get on this book? Nine four. Which is strange. Very strange. Because now I'm getting nine fours. My last batch, it was like. I couldn't run away from a 9.6 if my life depended on it. But here, here we are. All right, two more to go, guys. Trying to go faster on these. X-Men number one from 1991. This is a newsstand edition. Um, you guys don't know I collect these. Has the Magneto logo on it. Newsstand down there. I forgot if they do the bow insert. I think this had a bow insert. And in fact, I think I can see it in there. Anyways. Super cool, one of the four pieces. Uh, bunch of first appearances and new team stuff going on with this book. What did we get on this newsstand? Bam, a 9.8. Guys, don't sleep on these books. Um, a lot of people don't know that the newsstands in these 91 X-Men's have been going for, at least from the market that I just saw, between right around 160 to $200 plus in a 9.8. Um, they're not ultra rare by any stretch of the imagination. However, that was the start of when newsstands were definitely less produced and they weren't taken care of very well. The last one on the list, Black Panther, number three, first print, Tolsian Adu. Uh, big book from this last, what, 2022, right? Yeah, 2022, really big book. Um, beautiful, beautiful book at that. I did get the Black Panther custom label on it. Tosi and we're going to see in the up and coming show. Guys, what did we get on this book? Bam, a 9-8. Now, as we wrap this up, guys, thank you for watching the video. We are going to, I've got another submission I'm getting ready to, to put together tonight. I have another submission coming back. I will say... I feel like the grading has become quite inconsistent. And I say that because I have, like I said, I did 52 books. 
one week over the other. The next shipment of 25 or 26 books is on their way back. The grades are consistent with each other, however, are not consistent with a lot of the books I recently have been getting or what I traditionally see from CGC. And I'm not bagging on CGC, however, when you start seeing stuff like a 6-5 Batman Azrael, you start seeing stuff like what is saw with the Legion of Monsters and some of the other books that I'm about to take in, it really makes me start wondering. Now, I will own up to any of the defects that are on the books. Remember, I go through these books the best I can and normally I'm sending them out. I try to do weekly and then I take a week off depending on how fast they're grading and turning them around. But traditionally, they're getting a lot of my books and I'm getting them back in a fairly fast fashion. And it makes me wonder or ask the question with the recent uptick in hiring and everything that's going on with CGC, is speed now trumping quality control on the grading of the comics? That is the question that I'm starting to ask myself because as I get ready to send in another 25 books, that needs to be considered. Guys, thank you again for tuning into the Breakout Daily. Make sure, hit the subscribe button down below. Check us out over on Whatnot at Breakout Daily and on Instagram at Break Period at Daily. We hope you enjoyed this video. We got a ton of great content coming. So we'll see you in the next one.